Can a swimming pool pump get too hot? You bet it can, actually, and there's a couple of different reasons why it could. Uh, one would be a situation where it's starved for water, whether the water level's too low or it's skimmer ba baskets or strainer baskets are jammed full of leaves, and it can start a friction fire because it's just running and running and running, but there's no water passing through it to help keep everything cool. That is something that can happen. It's very uncommon. It's not supposed to happen, and it usually requires you know some deficiencies with the pump, perhaps like... Uh, some some seizing bearings or corrosion on the bearings of the pump which are creating some additional heat from friction that's not supposed to be there by design um, but most of the time when you're dealing with a question like hey is my pool pump too hot or can it get too hot we're usually not talking about a newer variable speed pool pump we're usually talking about an old single speed pool pump you know the big noisy ones they do get hot and they can get hot hot enough to cook your your eggs on but it's normally an indication of a failure or a deficiency or there's kind of like a a death spiral that these electric motors have on their way towards reaching the end of their service life and it works like this so the windings in the motor are a pathway that current follows and if you experience too much heat or too much vibration those windings can start to short together shortening the pathway that the current follows, changing the resistance of the system, ultimately allowing the pump to draw more current than it's supposed to, than it's rated for. And then that creates kind of like a cycle here, because now we're creating more heat that we're drawing more current again, that probably causes more of the windings to start to short together, shortening the pathway more and more. And then we kind of get to this point where you start to smell heat by your swimming pool pump, you might notice some heat discoloration or corrosion, or there's, you know, you'll start to visually be able to see the real hot points on those pumps. And when they're really hot, they're smoking hot. Like you, I've done that before, you know, you don't always see it. Some of the motors are black and you kind of just get in there to the pool equipment and you kneel down and you touch the motor. And you're like, yeah, it's smoking hot. Uh, that happens, be careful of that. It's not supposed to be like that. Like, yes, electric motors, run hot especially in the arizona sun i imagine it's very hot but there is a thing with electric pool pump motors where they start to draw too much current and then they'll get too hot and then they'll break a little bit more and then they'll draw even more current and then they'll break even more and it gets worse and worse until it starts to trip the breaker and you'll go out and you'll find the pump off one day and you'll turn the breaker back on and it starts up i don't know what that was weird and then one day you find it off again turn it back on and it starts. You find it off again, turn it back on, and it gets shorter and shorter and shorter till eventually you turn it on, it just dead shorts, hums, trips, the breaker does not go anymore. Don't wait until that point. Like, don't risk a fire. If you see it twice, maybe a third time to confirm, but it's tripped the breaker, you give it some time to cool down and you turn it back on and it starts, that motor's on its way out. You should Replace the motor at the very least, or more likely up, upgrade to a variable speed swimming pool uh, pump. Save yourself a bunch of money. Uh, they really do work just that well. I highly endorse them. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.